let's take a look at adding in the line chart. Now what you're seeing on my screen is the line chart already built. I'm going to switch to a different report so that you can build this with me. Just as a quick uh, refresher as to what's out here, you'll notice that down here we have months of the year down here on our axes. And then over here on our, our legend, we're breaking everything down by region, and we have our subtotals here in the middle. All right, now, so you can see what's happening over here on this side. I'd like just to point out, we didn't have to build this. Um, we have order date in our data set. That just came in when we imported the data. Very often, Power BI Desktop will try to create a hierarchy out of our dates to let us work with one particular date increment. And so all that's been done here is I simply expanded my way down, grabbed month, and dragged month right over to axes. And that's how I got January through December all the way at the bottom. Region became my legend, and then subtotal became my value, and we're ready to go. So let's build this. Here's where I last left off with everybody. Now when you go to build your line chart, make sure you click off the column chart. Anywhere is fine, but don't have this selected or you're going to instantly turn your column chart into a line chart. So click any of the negative white space that you can find any place. Then let's go find our line chart. One click. Now let's just drop everything into place and we'll worry about making it look nice when we're finished. So just like I said, now we have all of these buckets, and for the moment they're all empty. Don't worry about secondary values just yet. Tooltips, we know what they do. Well, we'll do something with that in a moment. So first, for our axes. Let's expand order date from our fields list. I'm sorry, our fields pane, really. Here's the date hierarchy itself. We didn't ask it to build this, it just built it. And we're going to drag month onto axes. Now we don't see anything yet because we haven't given it a number. So our legend is going to be the region field. Let's go find that. That'll give you your legend. And now of course we finally need some numbers and so we'll drag subtotal up to values. And there we are. Now let's take a little bit, a few moments just to handle the spacing on this. If you like to set up the border and some shading, that's fine. We'll go to the format well. Here, data labels would not be useful. You can try to turn them on, but it's going to get very messy. So if this were on a page by itself, that would be different. This is a case where it doesn't really add all that much. So I will turn on the border. I will turn on the shadow. I'm not going to do any background coloring for the moment. I think I'll just leave this as it is. But I will go back to the fields well. And let's at least add a tooltip. Let's drop profit into tooltip. There we are. This way, as we're hovering over any of these data marks, we can even see the profit on them. Now, there's a little bit of a surprise that comes with this. We're going to talk about that in the next topic. Just before we do that, let's rename the page. Column chart. Column chart and line chart. Perfect. All right, we'll click off. Let's click save. And then we're going to take a look at this concept of interactive legends coming up next.